Number 19. A certain 50 Hz AC power line radiates an electromagnetic wave having a maximum electric field strength of 13 kilovolts per meter. Letter A. What is the wavelength of this very low frequency? So, uh, disregard the electric field strength because it is unimportant. All right, we need to be looking at the frequency and thinking about how it relates to the wavelength. So we have our formula that the velocity of the electromagnetic ray will equal then the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. So if I want to find the wavelength, just divide out the frequency from both sides. And I need to know then the frequency and the speed. Now, we know the frequency it told it to us. It's 50 hertz, so plug in the 50. The velocity, well, we're going to assume that all electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light. So it's going to be 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. All right, so all we got to do then is just take the quackulator and plug it on in. So 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 50. So there's going to be about... Uh, 6.00 times 10 to the, what do we got? 3, 6, all right, times 10 to the 6. And that's then in terms of meters, all right? If you have to convert that into megameters or whatever, you know what to do. So that's letter A. Letter B now, what is its maximum magnetic field strength? So now we're going to take into account the uh, electric field, all right? I'm thinking of a relationship between electric field and magnetic field. Oh, 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 right, I have one, right? That the electric field strength divided by the magnetic field strength, which is, I don't, it's not an M, it's a B, but, you know, that makes sense, is equal to then the speed of light constant, all right, C. So if I want to solve this for B, just simply cross multiply these terms, and we now realize that the magnetic field strength is a function of the electric field strength and the speed of light, in which case we know Right, the electric field they told us is 13 kilovolts per meter. Oh, we need volts per meter though, so that's 13 times 10 to the third. And the speed of light is going to be 3 times 10 to the eighth. So simply just plug and chug. So 13 times 10 to the 3 divided by 3 times 10 to the 8, 4.33. Times 10 to the negative fifth. All right. <clears throat> and that's in terms of Tesla. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped, and if it did, like and subscribe. All right? That'd be awesome. Helps our channel grow, and we are so appreciative of it. We'll see you soon.